Lawyers for a murder suspect say he feared for his life when he shot two teens to death. It starts right here in Des Moines. 19 year old Preston Walls is on trial for the murders. Now the defense doesn't deny he pulled the trigger, but they do claim it was in self defense. The opening statement set the stage for how the murder trial will play out. KCCI's Kayla James is here with some of the big moments from day one. It was an intense day for everyone in that courtroom, Todd. A warning, what you're about to see may be disturbing. Body camera footage showing the moment a Des Moines police officer arrived. That starts right here. There's a shooter here. He ran out the back door. He's been gone for a while now. Will is shot. He's bleeding out. We need somebody. We got medics coming. Please. Please. Is he still breathing? It's too dead. <laughs> That's Officer Brian Cuppy walking to the stand right there. He went through the door. He found the victims, Rashad Carr, Gianni Dameron, and Will Keeps lying on the ground. Prosecutors played the video in front of Walls and the entire courtroom. Walls' defense says their client pulled the trigger because he felt threatened by Carr and Dameron and, quote, didn't want to die. Prosecutors say that's not the case. If at some point Mr. Walls wants to get up and testify, that his actions were justified, and this is self-defense, that's fine. But you can't get that in through any other witness, according to the court's ruling. That meant Preston has to now stand before you and answer for what happened on January 23rd, and so be it. Because it meant something more important. Preston was alive, and alive, he can stand here and answer for what happened that day. We heard from the state's first three witnesses this afternoon. Court will reconvene tomorrow morning at 9. We're expecting to hear more from officers about the scene and investigation that took place that day. Todd.